Hi guys, it's Anna Marie from Harcourt's Prestige in Canning Bell. I am so pleased to be able to present to you today on a market update for this family orientated, amazing suburb located 20 kilometres south of Perth. Canning Bell offers a consistent and large variety of quintessentially Australian suburban styled family homes. Excellent schools and fantastic access to the city, Canning Vale is an optimistic, can-do kind of suburb. What was once a landscape of market gardens and dairy farmland is now home to thousands of Perth families, both young and old. Canning Vale isn't an old suburb, so don't expect too many mature trees or expansive streetscapes. But what you will find is a close-knit community which takes pride in its stock of residential housing ranging from large, contemporary, two-storey family homes to low-slung 1970s homes lining the cul-de-sac. In this fantastic family suburb, the median property price guide to buy is $575,000 with the rental average at $450 per week. We are so lucky to now have local resident and our very own local MP member, Terry Healy, join us to address what's happening in and around this fantastic area. So Terry, tell us a little bit about what's going on in and around Canning Vale currently at the moment. Fantastic, and Marie, look, and there's, uh, there are heaps of things going on in Canning Vale. The McGowan government's investing a, a huge amount uh, all across WA and especially in our region in Canning Vale. Um, that helps promote growth and you know, all the new families that are moving into our area. Uh, there's the Metronet program, yeah. uh, there's the Ramford Road train station, Nicholson Road uh, train station, the widening of Ramford Road bridge from a four lane bridge to an eight lane bridge. There's bus stop upgrades, school upgrades, park upgrades, you know, all the things that you know, our area has been needing for a while, we're, we're delivering. So in regards to the Metronet specifically, um, what can you share with us about that? So we promised at the election in 2017 to commence that work. We've now been building for well over two and a half years. Uh, you know, the Dickelson Road, we, we were hoping construction to, you know, potentially finish end of next year and maybe trains running in 2023, yeah. uh, but we're on the cusp of that. Um, you know, we are building all the rail cars, the new rail cars here in Perth employing local people, so we've got control over those. Keeping you it know? local. Exactly, we're employing local people on the works. Uh, you know, the new bridge beams for the bridge that we laid on the weekend. Employing, employing local people here in, in Hazelmere to build. So, you know, we've got control of a lot more of that, of the local content in the project, so that, you know, your family and my family get the work out of them. Absolutely. Uh, and we get to, you know, confirm the delivery timelines better for all those projects. It's no secret Canning Vale is known for its vast variety of schools. Um, can you share a little bit with us about what's going on with schools at the moment? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Um, we've had a multi-million dollar investment um, over the last couple of years and was committed at the recent state election. Several million dollars going into Canning Vale College to upgrade the, the facilities there and continue that great legacy of a great educational institution. Um, every primary school, every state public primary school in the area has had a significant maintenance upgrade okay. uh, in the area. Um, you know, so generally our schools are, you know, 10, 15 years old, some of them are newer, uh, but they've all had significant investments. Um, there's also other investments going into new science labs that'll be built across a number of those primary schools. So it's just supporting the already great work that's happening at the schools. We're, as promised, delivering on those infrastructure upgrades. Focusing on our next generation, Terry, tell us a little bit more in regards to those schools and those specific upgrades. Absolutely. Look, uh, what most people will probably have heard of is uh, we've announced a, a very big investment into science and technology upgrades at all the local uh, Canning Vale primary schools. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we've got very, very popular schools, Caledonia, Excelsior, Campbell, uh, lots of schools. Mark McGowan has announced that all of those schools are either going to get a new science lab uh, to focus on science and technology or significant upgrades to, to classroom infrastructure so that, you know, young people can uh, be better versed in science and tech and yep, uh, support their, their future learning. That's all primary schools in County Wales. So Terry, we know you're a very busy person and we really appreciate you taking out the time today to share with us uh, everything that's going on. It all sounds very exciting. So It's a pleasure. Always happy to talk about County Vale.